and those guys get off the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Ray Knight is pleased to present for the very first time, Mr. Andy Hall. Hello, hello. How are you all doing Halloween? Yes. Man, that was louder than I thought it was going to be. That was great. Oh, man, I came in here and I instantly wanted lunch, by the way. Just tables. It reminds me of grade seven. Hot dog day. Anyways, all right, uh, what's going on? By the way, that, was, that, that start was um, get used to it, uh, because most of my jokes are about food. Uh, and, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's because I suffer from something called fat guy syndrome, which is a real thing. It's, it's tragic. It's a disease, is what it is. Um, if you don't know about fat guy syndrome, you don't, necessarily, you don't have to be a fat guy. You don't have to be fat, you don't have to be a guy. I just so happen to be both. Uh, that's just coincidence. But fat guy syndrome is something that strikes people of all ages, of all sizes, shapes. Uh, I want to run down, I want to tell you about it. One thing you, you, you one, one thing about fat guy syndrome you might notice, and, and maybe you've had this happen to you, is if you're sitting at a restaurant, you know, with some friends, you take a look at the menu, you, you, you read what's on you read what's on the entree, you got a burger, fries, and you're just you're sitting there and you're sweating, you're going, is this gonna be enough? <laughs> I mean, I see it comes with fries. Is, is this going to be enough food? You, you make your order, you know, waitress is gone for 15, 20 minutes. You're just like, ah, I should have I should got the poppers. I should have added on the poppers. Fat guy tip, always add the poppers. <laughs> Whatever that is, I don't even know really. Add the poppers. Fat guy thing too, fat guy syndrome thing too. Uh, this happens a ton. Uh, my girlfriend and I will go for dinner. Yes, I have a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> we'll go for dinner, and uh, and I'm I'm a fast eater. I, I feel like a jackal around to kill. Like I'm like, <laughs> get out! This is my food. Get out of here. So I eat quickly, and uh, and she's a super slow eater. I think because she thinks it'll make her skinnier. It's a good I think because she's a, a obsessed about her weight. Anyways. Um, <laughs> classic girl. Anyways, uh, so I, I finished super quickly, and um, and for the rest of the like, you know, whatever hour we're there, like drinks and hanging out and stuff, uh, I'm just staring at her food. <laughs> I'm full. I am full. I've had a full meal. My earlier fears were did not come true. You know what I mean? Like I, I I've had enough to eat, and and she's talking to me about you know whatever, and then I'm just like, oh yes, oh my god. She's, she is a bitch. She's awful. And mm -hmm. are you going to finish that entire sandwich? Because <laughs> I'm so hungry still somehow. But it's just the sight of the food that's doing it. It's nothing else. It's like, I'm not hungry. I'm not at all hungry. Um, uh, another thing is you're completely immune to all the negative effects. It's kind of like a board game. You get special abilities. You're, you're, you're immune to the negative effects of mayo. Mayonnaise is nothing but positives. You're looking at mayo, you are, you're, I mean, mayo goes on anything. Mayo makes anything taste better. Listen, I'm sorry to tell you all this, but if you've ever dipped regular Lay's chips in mayonnaise, you've got fat guy syndrome. You're right in there with me, man. We're in this together. Don't deny it. Come join us. Me and, I don't know, Rob Ford. Eh, like first fat guy coming. Uh, but regular, regular chips, no dip, no extra flavors, just the flavor of egg and like oil <laughs> and whatever else, what, a bit of vinegar? This is all that it takes to please someone like me when, when you're in dire need or when you're just mildly hungry. <laughs> all you need. Um, I love, I, uh, that being said, I, I, I love fruit. I do. I'm a fruit guy. Um, any other fruit guys? Yeah, a couple of fruit guys, a couple of fruit girls, maybe. I like fruit, um, but I don't, I don't, I don't like care about it. But I like junk food as well. I like junk food equally as much. But I don't like candy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll go chips. I got, I've recently gotten back into chocolate, which, if you haven't, rediscover chocolate. And then, but candy has never done it for me because it's just a brutal imitation of actual fruit. It's like. You're, 
the best candies taste like fruit. They taste the most like fruit. Jolly Rancher, best candy, right? Don't, don't answer that. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> obviously it is. Shush. Yeah. Uh, and it's the most like fruit, man. Uh, but, but the thing is, is like, they got it, man. They got it pretty good there. But they're not, like, there's some clues, you know what I mean? There's some things that they didn't do, like, you know, textures and stuff. So, so it goes like this. So if you're eating a, 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 a Granny Smith gummy, you know, and you're, uh, you're oh, yeah, it's pretty good. It tastes pretty much like, uh, like a real apple there. And then, you, but have you ever been into a Granny Smith apple and it had the consistency of a gummy? You'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with this apple? What have I done? What is wrong with this particular apple that I am still chewing it? What is wrong with this thing? It's, it's, it's a bad, it's, it would be a bad scene. Another thing, I don't know how this even happened about candy, blue raspberry. <laughs> Yo man, raspberries were cool the color they were, I think, right? Like everyone, no one had a problem with good old red raspberry. Some guy was like, I'll tell you what, we'll do. We'll do all the other colors pretty much one for one on, on, on the flavor color thing. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll throw the curveball. We'll go blue raspberry. And he went, you, you have a promotion. You have a million dollars. You're super tall. But you, great idea. That's what we're going to do. From now on, raspberry is blue. And Kool-Aid has fucking adopted this, man. Kool-Aid, you can't get raspberry Kool-Aid un unless it's blue. What? What? If you saw a blue raspberry in nature, there is a weird fruit disease infecting that raspberry. Do not eat it. If there is, if there is some like fruit you're eating and it's gummy and blue, that is nature's warning sign, man. Stay away from this. Do not, do not eat this thing. Rabbits and other animals, bears, because that's who eat fruit, right? <laughs> another fruit. I, I another fruit. Another candy. I, uh, I, I got a bit of a love hate relationship with Skittles. Uh, it's like. <laughs> You know, sour, I love sour stuff, so, you know, I'm into the sour Skittles. But, like, they have these new Skittles that are, like, uh, the color is different from the flavor. Have you guys seen those? It's, like, wacky mix-up Skittles or something, like, frenzy-flavored or whatever. And it's, like, green is, is, you know, like I'm saying, like, green is, like, fucking strawberry or whatever. You, you know that's just a factory fuck-up. And, and, you know what I mean? That someone just messed up the paint dye or whatever. And, 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 but you know what? The CEO of Skittles is a laid back dude, man. He's a cool guy. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, listen, Jeremy, don't worry about it, man. I know you poured the wrong shit in there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be our tropical lime. Hey man, we're, we're switching up. We're coming up with new things here at Skittles all the time. It's fine. Put them in a new bag. Call them wacky mixed up flavors. <laughs> man, man. And you have a new line of Skittles that no one is ever buying because I've never seen anyone eat them. <laughs> um, finally, <laughs> I, I, I gotta, I, like, listen, if we, candy, fruit, like, I mean, let's be honest, most people like candy. But those of us who are like, way in, like more into fruit, like, we're kind of uh, thankful for like the technological advances in fruit. I'm talking about seedless. When we got rid of seeds, the, the fruit game changed, right? Like, watermelon before seedless was a chore. Forget it, get out. Now it's like, number one fruit, for sure. Oranges, who bothered? Just get the juice. Fuck these round things, what, are, what even are these? You know what I mean? And if you bite into, I promise you, you bite into a, an orange that you think is seedless, you are offended, man. Have you ever, have you ever like, oh, sick. Like one of the clementines at Christmas time. You ever have like a segment on one of those? You bite into it? Because they're supposed to be seedless. They're all supposed to be seedless. And you bite into it, you're like, oh, fucking idiots. <laughs> fuck. Maroc? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> seeds in my goddamn, that's how nature made it. That's how nature made it. You're supposed to have seeds in there. But you know what sucks? You know what there's no excuse for? Fucking pomegranates, man. That's a husk of seeds. It's like nature's garbage bag. I don't want this. What are you doing? I remember, I used to watch Conan the Adventurer, and it's a cartoon that was come on ages ago, and one of the characters just loved pomegranate. And he's so biting into the pomegranate, and like, oh, this juice is flowing around him, and he's got it all over his lips and shit, and I'm like, I want one of those, man. And I remember I saw a pomegranate, and I was like,
was like, today's the day. Today's the day, so I bought a pomegranate. I cut it all open, I was like, ah, uh, uh, must have got a bad one. <laughs> like, literally the entire thing you see is that, of course, it's like, look, you bought a husk of garbage. I just, oh, okay, what else do I do with this now, you know? There's a minimal juice. It's the worst of the fruits, everyone. Pomegranates can eat shit every day, I'm telling you right now. Um, <laughs> that's all I got, but I'm going to say one quick thing before I go. Um, I'm not going to follow it up with anything to explain it. <laughs> so it might not make sense to some of you, but others, I hope it does. Never. I'm going to write a joke about this eventually, but <laughs> I just had to get it out because I think it's okay. Never go to a big gala charity event in Gotham City. Trust me, stay away. Something bad always happens. Good night. I'm Andy Hall. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Andy Hall. And now it's